Hey guys, Racer here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up, yet again, another, whatever, you know, YAGPDB.XYZ. How to create role menus, and how to update role menus. Now, this, it's confusing, don't get me wrong, and first step to having this working is having the bot within your server, which, it, it, it walks you through how to set it up. I'll leave the link for the bot in the um, description. Assuming you already have the bot, we're going to start by going to our roles and moving the bot above all the other roles. And then you want to create your color roles or whatever you want to have roles. Maybe it's a question of the day ping or whatever you want it to be. But in this, in this example, I'm going to be showing you red, orange, yellow, you know, colors. Now you're going to want to save that so the bot is above and you're going to want to exit. Now that you have your roles created, assuming you already created them before the tutorial started, it's no big deal. They don't need any special permissions. You can just do that right now. Now, now that you have those roles created, you can go to the control panel, which is also going to be linked in the description as it is another place that it should be easily accessible from where you download the bot to the server. And you're going to want to go to the control panel for your specific server. You'll notice that there's tons of different servers if you're in tons of different servers with it, and even it'll display some that it's not in, and it wants you to add it to those. Those are servers which you have administrator permissions and can add bots. Now you're going to want to select the server we're trying to um, create roles in. Okay, go to tools and utility and go to auto, nope. Sorry, role command. Go to role command. <laughs> and you're gonna wanna create a new role group. So you're gonna go to this group. I'm gonna call this group colors because, you know, I want it in single. What this means is it can only do one role at a time. So you can't have 50 different colors on you. You can only have one color and that's the color you get. So you're gonna want to just say, yeah, you wanna have it single and uh, you don't, if you want to require roles, like say they have to be a member to have the role, you can require roles. But let's say you want to make it so certain people can't have it. So let's say you don't want mods to get the color roles because it could screw up your coloring system. Just, you know, put ignored roles, mod. Or in this case, I would put like owner. I'm not going to do that because I don't, I don't want it to. Typically, unless you're trying to be very specific, it's... It doesn't matter. You're going to want to create this new group under single, and boom, you'll notice a new tab in the manager called colors, or whatever you named it. It's, it's up to you. And you're going to want to create new role commands now. Now you're going to want to do, in my case, I'm going to do red, and when I type in red to the role thing, it finds the role called red. Now all I can do is create new role command. Now if I want to do orange, if I can spell orange, I can do orange, and I will be right back when I get all these roles in. Now, I have all of my roles in. I messed up green a little. It's kind of weird. Well, apostrophe. I believe that's all the roles I have currently. I'm going to double check. Uh, I don't. I haven't picked them out yet. So it doesn't matter. Anyway, so you'll see I have purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. And you can choose to require them, have them require roles, just like the grouping. But I, I don't want to do that. And you can delete or move their position around. And I believe that changes like the way the reaction roles are set up or whatever. And so it should save automatically, I assume. And now that's all set up. You're done messing with the control panel. So you're gonna to wanna to go back to Discord and I'm gonna make a little role menu. Use the command role menu, create. And instead of doing what I did here, you do the name of the grouping so I'm gonna do colors, and what RR means is it removes re remove reaction. So when you go into the Discord administrator reaction remover thingy, if you remove the reaction, it will remove that role as well. And the no DM, I recommend using these two settings. The no DM means the bot will not DM someone when it updates their roles. I find that very annoying. So I like to disable it. So I'm gonna to wanna to create colors, I'm gonna hit enter. And now, I want to create a role menu with purple, so I'm just going to select pur purple emoji, right? Boom. And there's two methods to doing this. I'm going to show you first with the bot, like this, and first where you can create your own. 
So I'm going to show you why. Now it wants me to do blue. So I'm going to pick out a blue emoji. And now I'm going to pick out a green. Now I'm going to pick out yellow. I'm going to pick out orange. If I spell it right. Now I want red. Boom. Now your roll menu is done. You can delete the menu right here. And now if you select the roll, oops, if you select the roll, you'll see my name, remove purple. And now I want to go, let's say I want red. Boom. Look at that. My name's red. And you'll see if I go here, the name's red. Now, let's say I want to create a custom role menu that I can update in the future. Well, by doing this, I can easily create a role menu, which I have pre-created. It's that same role menu, create, dash, and then create. We're going to do colors again, but this time we're going to do dash M. And then in this dash M, we're going to want to make sure you have Discord developer mode on. And you're going to want to go to the message. You're going to go to more and copy the ID of the message and then paste the ID right there and make sure you have your RR and no DM on and I'm going to just boom. And now it's going to be adding the reactions to this message that I have posted. I recommend doing it this way because it allows you to edit the message in the future. So it's going to want purple, obviously. So we're going to do purple. It's going to want blue. So we're going to do blue. We're going to do green. It wants green. And we're going to do yellow. So it wants yellow. And we're going to do orange. And obviously, next should be red. And now that it has all of those, you can delete the menu. Look at that. Now that you, you can also delete the command, obviously. And now, not only, I'm, obviously, it's confusing it because I have multiple role menus that do the same thing. But now, I can make my name different colors, depending on the menu I created. That's the best way to do it. I, that's, that's what I think, at least. But, what if you wanted to add a new funky colors? You can just edit your message, because these aren't default Discord colors. And, boom, add those to your role menu, and then go into settings, and we're going to create two new roles called teal and pink. And I'm just going to create a teal. Refresh the page, then go to colors, and go to roles. I'm going to type in teal, it should auto-register teal, there it is. Create role command. I'm going to do... A uh, roll is pink, and I'm going to register pink. And now we can go back to Discord. And here at Discord, we can use the command roll menu update command. With this command, you're going to want to go to more on the message and copy ID. Now paste it after update and hit enter. And now it's going to ask you, what do you want to do for these pink emojis? Well, I have custom emojis here for the pink roll. And what do you want to do for the teal emoji? I want to do my teal emoji. Now, you can delete this menu and your role menu is updated and you didn't have to create a new role menu. I have looked so hard on YouTube to find a video trying to demonstrate a role menu being updated and I just haven't been able to find it. Such a pain in the butt. Well, here you can see I updated it and I can see I can make my name Teal now. That is so cool. Now I'm going to want to, you can see this is the same message. It's just edited. Obviously there's the bot method too, but I prefer this method because you can easily update it without having to create or edit around goofy stuff. Now that's all I really have for this video. I hope to make more videos on tutorials on how to do stuff on Discord soon. If you would like to um, join my servers, links in the description. yag.pdxyzw.com, whatever. It's in the description as well. And um, I'll see you guys next time.